All right, doing day four in three, two, one, go. Whoa, giant squid, you're already almost one and a half kilometers deep. Bingo is played on a set of boards. Uh, numbers are chosen at random. The submarine has a bingo subsystem to help passengers. Currently, you and your giant squid pass the time. Random order, random set of boards. After the first five numbers are drawn, there are no winners, but the board marks it as follows. The score of the winning board can now be calculated. Start by finding the sum of all unmarked numbers on that board. Uh, okay. Groupsters. Um, numbers equals first uh, grouped stirs. Boards equals grouped stirs. Um, okay. And now board initialize uh, nums uh, rows uh, def bingo uh, squares equals rows dot map r r dot split dot map to I um, uh, places placed equals five dot times dot map uh, false 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 uh, all them Uh, um, okay, def bingo, uh, rows, uh, times do n calls uh, five dot times do uh, x um, Uh, index uh, row equals five times n five dot times dot map d call. Uh, if row dot all true uh, diag one equals zero five six twelve eighteen twenty four Diag two equals zero one two three four five six seven. Uh, it's gonna be plus four eight twelve sixteen twenty. If diag one false. Uh, def place I placed 
um, def score equals squares dot zip placed dot map uh, n marked uh, marked n dot sum boards equals boards dot map uh, rows board dot new rows um, numbers dot each to num uh, boards dot each place num if boards dot any bingo uh, if winner equals Find bingo puts part one winner dot score break Place twenty five, twenty five. dot map to i what uh Puts zero, one, two, three, four. Mm. Okay, so it should find it. Um, this will do zero, one, two, three, four, and this will do, yeah. This should work. Seven. Oh, that's why. Okay. Uh, uh, index equals squares dot find index of I.
uh, index i. Seven. Boards dot each place num. Let's row Yeah, that's right. Um Break if num equals twenty four puts instance variable get squares placed. Uh, boards. Puts grouped stirs. Uh. Oh, God damn it. Oh, two forty seven. Um,
when is 14 called? Hmm. Wait. Uh, what the heck? Oh, that's why. Maybe? 21. Seven, 24. Why is this so off? Eleven five two zero seven. Uh, placing self dot id object id at index. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, why is it stopping? Oh. Puts boards dot index. Winner. Seventeen puts just placed num just placed two seventeen fourteen. Twenty one seventeen four. What? There's no goddamn diagonal. Ah! <laughs> oh. Come on. No index. Eighty five eighty. And now it. Might be wise to try a different strategy. Let the giant squid win. You aren't sure how many bingo boards a giant squid could play at once. Figure out which board will win last. Uh. 
Um, boards equals boards dot filter reject bingo. Um, if If boards dot empty puts part two winner dot score times num break one nine two four. Nine five seven six. Okay, stop there. Um, uh, okay. Um, part one equals found, part one equals false. If not found, part one found, part one equals true. Okay. All right, let's go back over this. Day four. We are playing bingo. Day four, giant squid. Took me about 2146. Let's see. I don't think that would have made the leaderboard. Nope, eleven thirteen. Definitely not. Um. All right, we're playing bingo. Pretty simple. Uh, all right, let's read the problem again. You're already almost a mile and a half, kilometer and a half, almost a mile below the surface of the ocean. So deep that you can't see any sunlight. What you can see, however, is a giant squid that has attacked itself to the outside of your submarine. Maybe it wants to play bingo. Bingo is played on a set of boards, each consisting of a 5 by 5 grid of numbers chosen at random, and the chosen number is marked. Numbers may not appear on all boards. If all numbers in any row or column of the board are marked, the board wins. Diagonals don't count. Diagonals don't count. Diagonals don't count. Submarine is a bingo subsystem to help passengers pass the time. You and the giant squid generates a random order to draw numbers and random set of boards. After the first five numbers are drawn, you can imagine it just plays bingo. At this point, the third board wins. The score of the winning board can now be calculated. Start by finding the sum of all unmarked numbers on that board, and then multiply the number that was just called to get the final score. What will, to guarantee victory, figure out which board will win first. So, uh, here are our numbers. We have a grouped. Uh, Groupsters separates things by blank lines. So in that first group, in that first line, I need to split by commas and then map them to integers. I really messed that up. Uh, and then the boards are everything else. Um, so we have a board that we're gonna keep as a 1D array where we just map uh, all the rows to integers, split them, map them to integers and then flatten. And then our placed array is just 25 times false. Um, to place a number, we get the index of that number in our squares array, and then we set that index to true uh, if that if we found it. Then to check if we have bingo, uh, we have to loop over five columns and five rows. The row indexes are it's basically like which one are you changing? Um, so like when n is zero, you loop over d. And so this will give five times zero plus one, two, three, four. So this will give zero through four. Then the next time through, it'll get five through nine. Next time through 10 through 14. Meanwhile, this one changes the other variable. So n is zero, and then it multiplies by adds zero, five, 10. So this gives you zero, five, 10, 15, 20. Next time through one, six, 11, 16, 21. And then if all of those 
uh, indexes are placed, then we win. And then we also have these diagonal indexes, but we're not playing diagonals win, so that's lame. And then the score is we just go through all the placed ones, and if it's marked, uh, it's a score of zero, otherwise it's the value at that square, and then we sum them all up. So we create a bunch of boards um, for our rows, uh, and then uh, for each number, we place that on all of our boards. If we have a winner, um, then uh, we will print out the winner's score times the last num that we placed, um, and that's part one, uh, and that's pretty simple. And then in part two, on the other hand, it might be wise to try a different strategy, let the giant squid win. Aren't sure how many bingo boards a giant squid could play at once. So rather than waste time counting its arms, the safe thing to do is to figure out which board will win last and choose that one. Um, and now you want the score of the last board. Um, so now whenever we find a winner, we get rid of all the winning boards. Um, and then if we don't have any boards left, then the last board won, and so we just print out that winner. Um, and that's part two. So that is bingo. Um, December 4th, 2021 solution. Yeah, so that is Advent of Code Day 4.